Hello everybody, I'd like to provide you with an update on what I'm working currently on. I have just completed my first series of the radiant energy comparing magnetic shielding versus magnetic repulsion. And now the continuation of the series is that we go down now to the details of recharging from a back EMF. So we're gonna do a couple of things. We're gonna have different kind of transistor and MOSFET we're gonna use. They are based on the Bedini SSG circuit and here we have for example the 2N3055 that's a power audio transistor which is quite commonly used we're going to investigate the performance of this device. We move over to Darlington's, which are transistor transistors, with more powerful with higher power rating. And then we see how we can get a MOSFET working. Here is our IRFP 450. I have also done an enhancement on of my wheel. The wheel is now a solid block of nylon, precision machined and has inserted radial the neop magnets. These are very strong, they are not recommended to be used there's a reason for that. I will go into the subject. And also one of the um, downsides of this wheel is it is very, very heavy. That means there's a lot of power required to move it. However, as you will see then in my series, this one moves fairly quick, faster than my wheel before. It has less vibration. It runs very, very smooth. And a couple of thousand RPM is not a problem at all. Within the same series I will move on then from the motor engine driven um, back EMF to the solid state version. So we're going to use the transistors as well and then we, then we investigate power output in the same Bedini fashion as it was on a wheel. The only difference is we do that all solid state. There will not be any magnets required. We just have coils here, special kind of arranged coils. I will go later on to the details. And one of the highlights I can also already tell you is this configuration will be also my first proof of concept that I'm capable to charge a battery and drive a load from the same battery which is higher that means the power requirement of the load is higher than the power required to recharge the battery I have for that all the proof and details and the technical measurements required to document that I will go later on to that state there are specific very very specific functions required to drive um, that you can uh, categorize them as so-called trickle charge systems which are plenty of them already available on the market none of them I mean none of them gives you any information how efficient they are if they make sense at all and how they are built I will go down to these details I will provide you with this information 
and I will also give you the details how you can optimize the system and that will be a little bit more complex because we're going here in an area which so many people did fail before we are not talking about resonance this system I'm using has nothing to do with resonance that is very important everything you know about resonance will not be applied here and has no function in the power output of the system so that is a brief overview of what I'm currently doing in my next series please join me become a member support me in my efforts to provide you the truth and the information required for you to build a successful energy system to provide you with the energy you require. Thank you.